Hey there, I'm Chris Ponick, Certified Public Accountant, Certified Coach, and host of the Mastering Your Small Business Finances podcast. And I want to welcome you to the ninth episode of a new series that I'm doing on this podcast. My intention is to drop one of these additional episodes every Monday while I continue to provide you with the regular Mastering Your Small Business Finances podcast episodes, which will continue to help you take control of and understand your business finances with topics that ultimately impact your bottom line. I have many business owners, accountants, and other high-stress professionals who listen to this podcast, and I want to get more help out there for individuals like you when it comes to mastering your mindset. I'll be taking a few moments each week to touch on topics that many high-stress professionals are dealing with and provide solutions to help you increase your overall well-being. Because I know your time is valuable, just like the Mastering Your Small Business Finances podcast, my goal is to keep these episodes short and straight to the point, but full of useful information to help you succeed in not only your professional life, but your personal life as well. Overwhelm is something that we've all dealt with in our lives. You may have felt or still feel overwhelmed in your career, your business, and even in your personal life. It could be continuing to get the education that you need for your career, all the tasks that you have to get done in your business, or how about all the things that you continue to think about that need to get done around your home. When you're asked how you're doing, how often do you find yourself replying with something like, I've been busy, or... There's just so much to do. Well, if you find you're struggling with overwhelm, even if it is just a tiny bit, I've got a solution for you. Let's dive in. I have a lot of clients who come to me who are suffering from overwhelm. And even if you think there's a good reason for feeling overwhelmed about something, I want you to think again. When you're feeling overwhelmed, it's actually an indulgent emotion. This means that when you're feeling overwhelmed, it has no purpose. But to many, it is a comfortable feeling. But all in all, this feeling will not give you the results that you're looking for. And it doesn't help you get what you want in the long run. When you look at what's causing the overwhelm in your life, it's more than likely coming from multiple decisions that need to be made or multiple options for you to choose from. We have more things in our lives now than we've ever had. So many of these options start when we're children. There are so many activities to choose from when we're growing up. Then there's college and so many decisions to make about schools, majors, and careers. When you own a business, you have another whole set of choices to make. Should you niche down? How should you market? Or what should you price your products or services at? to be the most profitable. And don't forget about your personal life. Even though these decisions may feel like they're more fun, like which movie you should go and see, or what you should make for dinner, they're all still decisions. They are all choices that add up to much of the overwhelm that people are feeling. When you have so many decisions to make, or things to choose from, that it causes a lot of confusion, And this is when overwhelm will start to creep in. It may start as a small amount of overwhelm, but over time you may find that it gets harder and harder to function with all of the overwhelm that you have going on in your life. Having options in our lives and so many things to choose from makes our lives so interesting, but we need to make sure that we don't let this cause us to get overwhelmed. So, are you wondering if you're feeling overwhelmed? You're probably feeling some sort of overwhelm if you've ever found yourself saying something like, I'm just too busy. I can't handle all of the things I need to do. There's just so much to do. Or, I'm tired and exhausted. When you find yourself feeling overwhelmed, take a minute to see what's causing this reaction. It could be a number of things, including multiple options that are available to you and all the decisions that you need to make on a daily basis. When you're overwhelmed, do you find yourself pulling back from your daily activities? 
hiding from making decisions, or even doing something that can take your mind off of how you're feeling. I've seen many people who've used scrolling on social media, eating when they're not hungry, and binge-watching shows just to escape how they're feeling when they're overwhelmed. I want you to know that just because you have a lot of options or many decisions to make, these things are not what's causing you to be overwhelmed. Think about something that you currently think is causing you to be overwhelmed. Maybe it's the amount of work that you have on your to-do list. If you look at your to-do list and think that you'll never be able to get it all done, that could cause you to feel overwhelmed. But if someone else would look at your same to-do list and they thought about prioritizing it and only working on, say, the top three things, they may not have the same overwhelmed feelings that you have. Another thing that I find clients who are dealing with overwhelmed thinking is that they have no idea about how to get something done. This thought alone will lead to feeling overwhelmed since there seems to be no solution. When I work with clients who are suffering from overwhelm, I always start by asking them what they think is causing it. Then we work towards creating a plan to either eliminate or significantly reduce their overwhelm. If you'd like to continue listening to the rest of this podcast, I invite you to sign up for my free private podcast where I do a deeper dive into this topic on the Mastering Your Mindset Moments podcast for high-stress professionals. When you're busy working in a high-stress profession, it's often hard to accomplish what you truly want in your life. This private podcast offers solutions that you can immediately apply to your life so that you can not only achieve your goals, but increase your sense of purpose, satisfaction, and lead a more fulfilling and enjoyable life. You can sign up at financialadventure.com slash private to hear about the solutions that I provide on this topic. I'll post links to this and other valuable resources for business owners, accountants, and other high-stress professionals where you're listening to this podcast.